What is up, homies? Welcome back to another trailer reaction from Heroes Reforged. We're checking out the teaser trailer for Marvel's Thunderbolts. Little asterisk. I'm convinced it's gonna be Dark Avengers, but who knows? Uh, before we get into this, if you wanna see younger reactions for all the shows and movies that we're watching, check out our Patreon. We got so much stuff on there. All the shows that are currently on YouTube, we have uncut reactions for all of those, so check all that stuff out. Also, Hector, you and I were in the Marvel Studios panel at SDCC in July. We saw yeah. a trailer. We don't know if this is the exact same trailer. It wasn't just Robert Downey Jr. They did other stuff. <laughs> before Robert Downey Jr. walked Other out. Other things, uh, <laughs> in, in fact, happened there, not just RDJ. And I remember from the, from the footage that we saw, we were like, vibing with this maybe the most because we were like this looks really cool and very different and it is the most underdog of the of the stuff that they showed because they showed us you know captain america brave new world stuff they showed us the first sort of um shot of harrison ford turning into the red hulk so people mm. were super on board with that and then he came yeah. out but the point is is that those two things were the big show and then this was the sort of like who who are these i mean i remember after we saw the footage you turned to me and you're like who's bob and i was like this yeah. is great this has <laughs> this has such an underdog vibe to it that yeah. Nobody yeah. loves these characters. I mean, people love these characters, but they don't, there hasn't been the sort of like excitement for, you know, oh, Ghost is going to be in it. The, like they're right. all, like Taskmaster. Like these are all characters that are, it feels like they're sort of underdogs and remnants from their own projects. Mm -hmm. And instead of just doing a straightforward Black Widow 2 starring Florence Pugh and David Harbour, they're, they're morphing it into this sort of like, let's take all of the characters that are outcasts in their own story. They're, they might not be the most popular characters in our larger franchise. You got US Agent in this, you have Red Guardian in this, you have Bucky, who's an incredibly popular character, but like within his own story, he's such an underdog. He's such a like stepped on and, 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 and um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he was, yeah. he's been put through the ringer so let's put all those characters in one story and see what happens mm -hmm. and i think you're right i think they're going to change the name of this before the movie comes out and we'll talk about that we'll talk about why because yeah, i yeah, think yeah, there's yeah, a specific yeah. reason for that too so absolutely um, let's check out this teaser and see how similar or dissimilar this is from what we saw all right okay. here we go in three two one go i click leave on porch I remember this. Your subordinates will be reported to DoorDash HQ. <laughs> Stupid. Open up. Milena? What has this character been doing since 2016? Oh my god. Milena! Hi, Dad. Sorry mm. about the wait. Uh, it was an important call. Highly classified. <laughs> lot of work, lot of work. Many irons in fire. You feel fulfilled? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so full. So filled. So filled. <laughs> Stupid. What, uh, what brings you here? So far, that whole thing was in that Comic-Con trailer we saw. I know. There is something wrong with me. And a great and music choice. Yeah. I'm just drifting. Buck! And I don't have purpose. He's not even paying attention to his kid. To work mm -hmm. was the answer. We love a good hallway fight scene in a Marvel movie. Mm -hmm. Man, this is so great. <laughs> this guy too, John Walker. What a character I love. What a Seriously. piece of work. Taskmaster looks dope. Ghost looks dope. Yeah, new suit. Hell yes. And oh, here's Bob. Robert. And then I'm, there's I'm Robert. <laughs> Who sent you, Bob? Nobody. Were you all you were all sent? Yep. Enjoy Bob. <laughs> Everyone here has done bad things. Shadow ops. Robbing government labs. Oh Jesus. Contract kills. Yeah, so. So, someone wants us gone. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. What the hell? What the hell? I know how they're getting out of there. Bob. Oh, I didn't realize that Loki's scepter was in that glass. Oh. Like, there are good guys. Thing. And there are bad guys. Yep. What's the plan? <laughs> this could get messy. Damn, that felt Terminator Sick. as hell. Sick. But eventually, you come to realize 
that there are bad guys and there are worse guys. Oh, my and Lord. Nothing else. I love it. Valentina. Look at you. So adorable. So <laughs> adorable. <laughs> Bullet. She's bulletproof. Mm, are you sure? Bulletproof <laughs> Stupid. Is that dun, 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 dun. Dick. That's amazing. That's not good. Oh my god. Oh, that's how he joins the story. That's dope. That's great. Yeah, so some similarities, yeah. some differences. There was a few things yeah. in there that we had seen before, primarily them assembling in whatever that like room is that, that Bob mm -hmm. is in. Yeah, this was a really fun teaser. And it's interesting to me that Bucky, the way Bucky is brought into the story, because mm -hmm. I feel like these Thunderbolts are kind of being labeled as like bad or worse. Bucky's definitely not that, especially at this point in the Marvel story. Black Widow, you know, Yelena is kind of a little bit in between, a little ambiguous. Red Guardian, we don't really know what he's been up to since the Black Widow movie. John Walker mm -hmm. obviously had like a really, really crazy ending to his story in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Mm -hmm. Um, but it looks great. Like, I'm really excited to check this out. And I, I love that this is the underdog because as we know with so many Marvel films, the underdog ends up being such an important part of whatever, like the next phase of the story yes. is for Marvel. You're absolutely right. Okay. I want to talk, I want to get into this. I want to talk about two things. So first of all, I'm glad you brought up Bucky, put a pin in Bucky. Cause I want to circle back to that, Adam. So mm -hmm. remind me to, we're going to circle back to Bucky here for a second, but <laughs> The thing that I'm so excited about this movie is that it feels like they're trying to replicate the comic book history that the Thunderbolts comes from. So mm -hmm. the conditions are very important. The conditions when the Thunderbolts was a comic book team of characters was after the Onslaught event, Onslaught being a merged version of Charles Xavier and Magneto, huge, big, powerful looking Magneto thing, wipes out a ton of superheroes in Central Park in the Marvel Universe, including mm. the Fantastic Four, and the Avengers and like the X-Men are left behind and, and Spider-Man I think is left behind, but like Marvel tried to sort of mini reboot within their own because the Avengers and Fantastic Four comics weren't selling as well as X-Men. And they're like, let's, let's try to do a version where we're reboot rebooting those and making them more accessible for the nineties audiences. It didn't really work. And eventually those comics were revealed to be like a little pocket universe that Franklin Richards, son of Reed Richards had like created. And then eventually those heroes, because they started these comics and like Thor looked different and, and, and the Fantastic Four were like Jim Lee designs and they had different origin stories. And I, and I think readers were sort of like, well, we don't want this. We don't want to do like some of these are rebooted and the rest of the characters like the X-Men stay. We want mm -hmm. them all together. So those characters were brought back. But for a time, the Avengers were gone. That's the conditions that are important. When the Avengers were gone, there's a new team of characters that just showed up and they were solicited in comics ads as like the Thunderbolts are coming, get the first issue of the Thunderbolts. Nobody knew who these characters were, all new characters, all new characters like Citizen V and uh, like Mach 4 and all these characters. People are like, okay. And the whole tagline was like, when the Avengers are gone, these characters can show up. They will fill in that gap. They will be the Avengers for the Marvel Universe for now. People got that first issue. They're reading the whole thing. It's all these new characters. You're kind of getting a vibe of to what they are. You get to the last page, Citizen V, the leader, takes off his mask and he's Baron Zemo. Mm. And, and they had kept that a secret and readers were like, oh my God. And the story <laughs> became, they're each villains that are pretending, masquerading as new characters, new identities, personas to be heroes and to, and to trick the, the general audience, general public into thinking that they're good guys so that they get access, so they get funding, so they get money, so they get you know praise, so they able to like do their stuff on the side while being publicly mm -hmm. heroic characters. But the great thing about that story is when these characters got a taste of the good life, they realized, well, we want to be good now. And it's so compelling and it's so great. So I think that, that Marvel is gonna try to do a version of that in this. I think that these characters, even Ghost and Taskmaster, if you think about it, they're maybe the most straight up forward villain characters mm -hmm. that they're putting onto this team. But even them, even both of those characters have sympathetic backstories that you could Absolutely. be like, well, it wasn't Taskmaster's fault. Like she was brainwashed by her dad, Drakoff, and it wasn't Ghost's fault. She had a power she's cursed with. So already you're like, okay, I know Yelena See can where be they're good. Going. Yeah. Right? No Red Guardian can be good. US agent, uh, uh, John Walker, John he Walker. might be the one that's like, bro, we can, we, we've seen you try to be good and then fail. Here's another shot. Here's another. Right. And then Bob, that's a separate thing we'll get into later. But <laughs> all of this to say, I think that the asterisk is going to be after Captain America Brave New World comes out, 
at the end of that movie, it's going to be President Ross Thunderbolt being like, we're putting together a new team because there's no Avengers, Adam. The conditions right. are the same. There's a, yep. They're not dead in another universe. They have just disbanded. And so what's going to happen at the end of that movie is he's going to talk about it and audiences are going to be like, oh, they're talking about Thunderbolts. And then someone's going to go, you got it, Mr. President. Here's our Avengers. And the, you know what I mean? It's going to be yep. um, Valentina being like, sure thing. So she's recruiting a government Avengers and it's these characters. I think that the movie title is literally going to change to Dark Avengers because that was a series and team that was similar in in tone to the Thunderbolts. It was other mm. characters masquerading as the Avengers heroes. And then they start, some of them start to be like, we want to be good. Some of them were like, no, we're going to stay bad. So I think that that's going to happen. And I think that, they, that they're taking advantage of the conditions. Now, going back yeah. to Bucky for a second, one of the things that happened in the Thunderbolts comic is that the character Clint Barton, Hawkeye, shows up when he is under the impression that they're like, not the villains that you know the readers know they are he shows up and sort of takes leadership of the thunderbolts and then he realizes he learns who they are but he mm. still stays around because he's like i have a responsibility i think i can turn these people into good heroic people i can kind of change their mind in the comic books one of the things one of the things about hawkeye's origin is that he was mistakenly believed to be a villain in his first appearance when he goes up against iron man he put on a costume and, and iron man assumed he was a bad guy and they started fighting so hawkeye was like arrested even though Hawkeye wasn't trying to be a bad guy. So he has a criminal record technically. Right. So the whole thing about Hawkeye's character is like, well, I was bad or people thought I was bad, but I've been trying to be an Avenger my whole career. I think Bucky is, is that taking character? that role. Mm. Is that character? That, I think he's that going totally to- That totally makes sense. He's going to in, he's going to insert into the story and he's going to look around and realize who these characters are and then go, wait a minute, like you, you know, I know John and then he's going to meet all these other characters and go, I think I can whip you guys into shape. I think I have what mm -hmm. it takes to be a Captain America leader type guy. You know, I grew up with Steve, everything I've been through, same thing, same sort of like, I was a villain. He's now been cured of his brainwashing from his time in Wakanda. And I think that's the role that he's playing. So mm, very smart. there's a lot of potentiality in this movie that I don't mm. know if sort of non-comic readers or people who aren't familiar with Marvel lore, like could clock it. So right. it's going to be really fun to see this movie come out, to yeah. see Captain America come out first, and then maybe tee up this movie mm -hmm. to see audiences go check it out and then walk away, hopefully, and be really surprised and really be mm -hmm. into it and go, I think Dark Avengers is my new favorite Marvel movie. Right. Or like, I love these. It just has the potential to make you love those characters Absolutely. in a way that I feel like I'm a sucker because I'm a Marvel fan. I'm almost already in on these characters, you know? I love Ghost from Ant-Man and the Wasp, and I love Taskmaster, and I love the the MCU versions of these characters, but I know fanboys and I know audience members have been like, eh, those aren't my favorite, you know, versions of those characters. I just want Marvel to continue to support these sort of underdog. It's like they didn't do a Black Widow where they hired back Scarlett Johansson to do another flashback story. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They could have done that. They could have done, here's another untold tale of Black Widow. We got Scarlett back because Scarlett Johansson's a massive movie star. She was in Transformers 1. Like yeah. she has that star power. They didn't do that. They're like, we're committing to Yelena is going to be the Black Widow the going forward. And we're going to, and they didn't call this Black Widow too, I think because they want to call it Dark Avengers, but they're holding right. on to that. It's also daring to call this movie Thunderbolts, if it does stay with the name Thunderbolts. But even that name, like they're marketing it as Thunderbolts mm -hmm. so far. And that's like, they're spending money on that, on this unknown group of characters and an unknown name, an unknown entity. And they're right. risking it. And I'm, and I'm, glad that they're doing that because that's how marvel got guardians of the galaxy that's how marvel mm -hmm. got ant-man that's how marvel got some of these movies to be as pop and characters as popular as they are iron man same thing he was a c-list yeah. character in pop culture and then lo and behold he's the biggest name in a-lister a -lister, absolutely <laughs> so yeah man lots yeah, of like about this especially project. with with like the new captain america movie it feels like it really deals with the relationship between thunderbolt ross and sam and even in the trailer he starts teeing up hey i want you to rebuild the avengers we need the avengers we need them please rebuild them i really strongly think that those two characters are going to have a huge falling out by the end of the movie because he's going to be the red hulk and so like you're yep. saying thunderbolt ross is going to take it in his own hands to say you know what forget sam wilson we'll get someone else to lead our own avengers and, you know, maybe that ends up being Bucky. And I don't know if that'll create turmoil between Sam and Bucky. Who knows? That remains to be seen. But, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And especially if you see what 
Remember what they did in Falcon and the Winter Soldier at the end of that series in the last episode when it cuts to the title, it doesn't flip to Falcon and the Winter Soldier, it flips to Captain America and the Winter Soldier because we've established that Sam is now Captain America. So I think that this movie could potentially do the same thing where at the end of it, yep. it'll say Thunderbolts asterisk, and then it'll the titles will turn and it'll say Dark Avengers. You know, like so I, I very much do believe that, yep. that that is what's gonna happen. It'll be something like that. And I don't think they'll necessarily go out of their way to remarket the movie after opening weekend to okay. say, like, oh, it's actually okay. Dark Avengers. But you never know. Like, look at what they did with Deadpool and Wolverine when it was called Deadpool and Friend. So right. they have and the power to before, do whatever they want. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So that'll be interesting to see. But I'm also just super interested to see how the characters interact with one another because we have not seen a lot of these characters work together. We've seen John Walker mm-hmm. and Bucky. We've seen Yelena mm-hmm. and Red Guardian. But we haven't seen all those characters mixed together. And now with Sentry or Bob and Taskmaster and Ghost, like that, that's going to be really fun to see how these characters all play together. Because sometimes I feel like when Marvel put pairs together the oddest characters, mm-hmm. that's when like the best material comes out. Agreed. Hulk and Thor is a great yeah, example. My God. Um, Spider-Man has had sort of great matchups with every one of his movies, the Tom Holland, mm-hmm. Spider-Man, Doctor Strange and No Way Home and yeah. Nick Fury and, and yeah. Far From Home. And so I agree. I think that um, you you want I want Marvel Studios to be 50 50. I want them to 50 percent try and adapt the storylines or the characters from the comics that work so well and like mm-hmm. really earnestly, sincerely adapt them and do those versions kind of. But I also want them to step back and look at their own movies and TV shows and look at what's working. If this is working, chase it. That's what Agatha all along is. Like Catherine Hahn stole that show in WandaVision. And and it's not a common comic book thing to be like, yeah, let's focus a lot on Agatha Harkness and give her a, but you know, that's not really happening in Marvel comics. But I think it was very smart for them to do that with that character because that popped. So Mm. 50-50, you got to do both. You You have to build up what works and kind of what really uh, you know, audience is really attached to, and you have to respect and honor and adapt and celebrate the source material that is Marvel Comics. And um, I think Thunderbolts is like weirdly a combination of both, right? Because it's it's like what you're saying, yeah, Adam. They're absolutely. looking at the characters that they've had in movies so far, and they're like, well, what if we pair Red Guardian and Yelena with John Walker? What happens? And what if we pair them with Ghost and Taskmaster from separate movies? And and but it's also them looking at Marvel Comics characters and teams and concepts and going this thunderbolts thing was such a great trick on readers there's got to be a way we can figure out how to recreate that feel you know right. of um of these villains kind of masquerading as heroes there has to there's got to be something there and listen we might be completely wrong i might be wrong in everything that i'm saying so hold slow down your comments for a second but like <laughs> it may it may also be a little bit more straightforward and um when they show up in that bunker room and Yelena's like, somebody wants to get rid of us. Like when she says that, it might be true that it might be Val going, these are all loose cannons for whatever reason, you know, set them up and trick them and fool them into showing up here. And Bob being as powerful as he is, he may kill them. Problem solved. The story also might be that these characters force themselves into being the heroic team of the Thunderbolts after the U.S. Mm-hmm. government or whoever wants to kill them and take them out. Whether Bucky's hired to come in and take them out, and then once he learns kind of the truth, he may switch sides and join that team. Like, that's also a story we could see, and that could be really fun and compelling. But um, but my favorite thing about this, too, like I said, is that we're in Comic-Con Hall H. We watch this. Adam is laughing, and he's like, who the hell's Bob? Like, when we're seeing this footage. And he turns to me afterwards and he goes like, what was that about? And I lean in and I go, Bob is more powerful than Superman. He has the power of a million exploding suns. And Adam went, "Uh uh-huh, excuse me, Uh, I am into this, what is that? (laughs) And I was like, yeah, the dude is also unwell, mentally unwell, and it's gonna lead for maybe some really, really great moments in the story. Um, And it's such a compelling character, and there could be so much interesting stuff done with him. I don't know if Bob is a character who could sort of have his own movie or show or his own project necessarily. I know that Mm -hmm. Sentry is at his own comic, but to me, the character is used best when he's sort of on a team part of an ensemble of characters and he's kind of in the background slowly losing it like like just you know unraveling and the other characters have to deal with him and help him or in the case of when he was on the dark avengers you know the leadership of that team manipulate him 
into mm. getting what they want, into you Out know, into 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 thinking, tricking him into thinking he's a heroic person when really he might be doing bad shit. Either way, it's juicy. Either way, I can't yeah. wait for people to meet Bob. I love that his name is <laughs> Bob Reynolds. I think that's yeah. great. Um, so, so yeah, dude, I'm just really, really excited about this. It's gonna be yeah, good. me too. And I, I really like Lewis Pullman. He was great in Top Gun. A little sad that Stephen Young couldn't complete the project couldn't be in the project that would have been so yeah. cool to have him in a yep. marvel thing but i hope mm -hmm. that he gets another role down the line as, as another character Same. in the marvel universe but Same. yeah i'm excited i'm really looking forward to this one and i love the fact again that it is an underdog in the mcu and a lot of people are going to go into going like i don't know what the hell this is i don't know what to expect from this i think a lot right. of people who loved yelena love florence Pugh they'll show up and everybody else who loves like characters like bucky they'll show up too and i think everyone will kind of fall in love and then hopefully those like two opposing fan bases can come together and just kind of bring yeah, right, everyone right, right. in to be like, no, you guys got to check this out. It's great. All the characters are cool. Because right now, yeah. you know, a character like John Walker, for me personally, I'm like, oh, God, I, I like Wyatt Russell. I don't like John mm -hmm. Walker at all. So the movie I know. is more than likely going to convince me like, all right, he's, he's all right. He's all right. Mm -hmm. I can, I can mm -hmm. deal with him. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to seeing all that. But yeah, of course, yeah. let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think of this teaser trailer? What are you looking forward to seeing from this movie? And if you already have a favorite character based on what you've seen of their previous appearances in the MCU, let us know which one. Right. Check out everything else that we're watching. Check out all the movies and shows. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.